AISA latest product, the T380 Portable Smart Soldering Station, here it comes. T380 is a portable soldering station that can be moved at will. ADW rated power, melt 10 in 1 second. It owns die casting process, aluminum alloy material, and sky gray design. There is enough space above the station to place five soldering tips. The built-in silicone sponge socket can be disassembled and cleaned manually by matching with the knob. Users can adjust the angle of the standby holder by themselves. Main interface. We can see that the main interface of the station is composed of three buttons. This machine is the prototype. There is serigraphy on the button of genuine machine. The left button can increase temperature, it serves as down button in the settings. The right button can decrease temperature, it serves as back button in the settings. Long press the left and right buttons simultaneously to save customized shortcut temperature. Single press the middle button to switch temperature shortcut channels, it serves as confirm button in the settings. Long press to enter the setting interface, long press continuously to select to shut down the station. Long press the set button in the middle and shut down state. Power on the station, it enters the main interface. Long press the middle button for 3 seconds in any interfaces to shut down the device. Single press or long press the left button to increase the temperature of soldering tip. Single press or long press the right button to decrease the temperature of soldering tip. On the display interface of the station, the name of the station, the matching T210 handle. T380 currently supports T210 and T115 handles, as well as the temperature of the station and the battery life of the T380 are respectively displayed. The moon on the left represents the current status of the station. The moon refers to the standby status, and the thermometer represents the heating status. The number in the middle represents the current temperature of the soldering tip. The number on the right represents the set temperature of the station. The progress bar at the bottom represents the service power of the station. When picking up the handle, the power rises sharply and then levels off. Power varies depending on the contact area of the soldering tip. Touch swapping socket or standby holder to reactivate handle when dismantling soldering tip. Single press set button to switch among the temperature shortcut channels. There are M1, 280 degrees Celsius, M2, 350 degrees Celsius, M3, 400 degrees Celsius, separately. At the same time, users can customize shortcut temperature according to their personal needs. Here we switch to M1 channel. Adjust temperature to 300 degrees Celsius. Long press heating button and cooling button simultaneously to save it to M1 channel. As it can be seen, the temperature of M1 channel becomes 300 degrees Celsius. Settings. Long press the middle button to enter the setting interface of the station. You can see the descriptions on buttons. The left button can be used to select options of setting. The middle button can be used to select confirm. And the right button can be used to go back. The first option of settings is language. It can be set to Chinese or English. Press the middle button to select the needed language. The second one is, sound. We can turn it on or off. After turning it off, the station enters mute status. The third one is, unit. We can set Celsius and Fahrenheit here. The fourth one is, factory reset. We can reset all settings of the station. The fifth one is, time. We can see the booting time and accumulative working time. The sixth one is, System Info. We can see the version and model of the station. And date. Back to the main interface. The station is charged and supplies power with a Type-C cable. Please charge with built-in charger as much as possible. Full charge time is about 1.5 hour. The battery supports continuous soldering for about 40 minutes under 400 degrees Celsius, no need for charging. The station is built in with detachable 18650 battery, whose capacity is 2600 mAh. Open the back lid of the machine. The inside battery and FPC can be seen. 
Cut off the FPC and the battery can be taken out. The wireless end of battery should be put inside the machine when placing battery. While the wired end should be put outside. Put the printed side upward. Cover the back lid of T380. Remote Upgrade T380 supports remote upgrade. Connect the Type-C cable to the computer. Then connect the other end to the station. Download AISEN software from AISEN official website. Open AISEN software. The software will identify the station automatically. Now we can see the latest version is 1.00. When a new version is released in the future, select the version you want to upgrade to. Click Upgrade, and it will be upgraded to the selected version. Wi-Fi can be seen beside Upgrade. Click Wi-Fi, Connectable Wi-Fi will appear on the right. Select the Wi-Fi, which needs to be connected, click Connect. Wi-Fi can be connected after entering password. Long press the middle button for 3 seconds in any interfaces. To turn off the station. The station cannot be turned off if it is charging. That's the end of the operation video of T380. To learn more about AISEN products and software updates, please follow AISEN YouTube channel, AISEN Tech, or official website, www.aixuntech.com.